Hi, and welcome to Biostock Studio. We are in the midst of report season, and last week MedTech CLS reported their third quarter. The quarter has above all meant advances in the US in the form of an FDA approval. We have CEO Don Mjorgen with us to tell us more. Welcome, Don. Thank you so much. So, like I said, the biggest advancement during Q3 was definitely the FDA approval for use of your laser ablation system in neurosurgery. So, how is the US rollout progressing? It's progressing well. Um, we selected to work with Clearpoint Neuro for the US market um, with the neurosurgery. And um, uh, the, we are progressing according to plan. Um, the Clearpoint Neuro is a, is a prominent player. Uh, they've been on the market for many years, established themselves. Um, they have a, a fantastic organization um, uh, with both sales and clinical application specialists supporting the sales. Um, they have today established themselves in more than 70 centers in the U.S. That's forming the basis for the rollout with the neurosurgery in U.S. for the, for the product, which is, again, branded PRISM uh, Neuro Laser Therapy System. Uh, so, yes, it's, it's moving uh, along according to plan. It is very clear in your report that your focus is now the U.S. market. But what does this mean for your other target markets, the European market and Asia Pacific? So U.S. Uh, represents approximately 55% of the world market. So obviously it's a very important market to us. And 55% is in, in a cross-border. So we, both with the neurosurgery as well as the urology market for us, uh, we see it as, as one of the biggest and most important market to, to CLS. So obviously our focus is shifting in that direction with the 510K clearance and with the rollout. Um, we will continue working in the European market and towards the Asian Pacific uh, according to the, to the goals and milestones that we set up. But there will be a shift uh, uh, towards the US market based on uh, the clearances and the rollout, yes. And if we then look a little bit to the financial side, mm -hmm. what does the US focus and rollout mean in terms of needs financially and in terms of organizational needs for CLS? If we look at the organizational needs, uh, again, uh, with Clearpoint Neuro, uh, with their organization, uh, they will manage both sales, sales support uh, on the U.S. market. Uh, so uh, CLS um, do not plan to increase its organization uh, within the sales force or in the clinical application specialist force for the neurosurgical market. However, what we're dealing with now is the need within Clearpoint to train their staff to train their salespeople, to train their clinical application specialists to support the rollout in the U.S. And this is what we're doing uh, currently um, in, in the U.S. right now. Uh, in terms of the other uh, market segments in the urology, we're also seeing that we're ramping up in the U.S. right now um, with the team that we have in the U.S. Uh, we will look into what that means in terms of uh, organization buildup, both in the sales but also on that supporting side that I mentioned for neurosurgery, we have not exactly the same need in urology, but a similar need in neurology to build up clinical application support. We're looking into that right now. Um, we're right in the middle of budgeting uh, and planning at this point, so we'll get back to what it means in detail uh, in due time. And then with the 2022 nearing its end, what are the main goals for 2023? Uh, main goals for us in 2023 is to make sure that the, the, the market release in the U.S. for the neurosurgical market works as intended. We will certainly focus on that. Also in urology, as we launched early this year, um, our products, our systems for fusion-guided FLA, for focal therapy in prostate cancer, we will continue to support that. And we're expecting to see um, results from, from the, the launch in the U.S. market also in urology. Uh, other than that is to increase the number of market clearances we have. Uh, we have the MR-based system, uh, Tronberg system for focal therapy, where we are uh, going ahead uh, with that towards a, a clearance in the U.S., also a clearance in the, in the Asian Pacific region for that particular product. Um, we're also expecting to see some early results from our clinical trials that are ongoing. Uh, I would say across the world we would do that on both sides of the Atlantic and to see some of those early results coming out uh, from the clinical trials. Um, we're also expecting to see either before the end of this year, uh, more likely in the beginning of next year, have additional commercial partnerships within urology. 
Uh, we have the ClearPoint uh, uh, collaboration since a couple of years back in neurosurgery. I think it's been very successful. We're looking at something similar also, as we mentioned before, in neurology. We expect to see that early in 23. And then um, uh, together, we're obviously seeing that um, or expecting that our sales revenues will go up in 2023 based on the investments we're doing right now. Sounds like you have an exciting 2023 ahead of you. Then. We certainly do. Yes. Thank you. And thank you so much for tuning into this Q3 update with CLS. And thank you for coming, Don. Thank you so much for having me.